Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Growers. I'm here with Holly Dirksen, field crop pathologist with MAFRI. It's time, or maybe a little late, but to talk about sclerotinia control. So, two things. What's the optimal time to be uh, protecting this crop? And uh, show us how to establish that. And then I've got a few other questions for you. Okay, so with sclerotinia, you are targeting the petals of the plant. So, although you see an infection on the stems, that, step that, that infection arose from the petals. So the petals were infected or either became infected after they, fe after they fell. Um, and that's where the spore infected and then the infection spread to the stem. So you're looking at the 20 to 30 percent flowering timing as being your ideal stage uh, for sclerotinia, sclerotinia control, definitely before 50 percent. And I'll probably talk about that later, but why you want to get in there before 50 percent. Um, but the best way to assess what your flowering stage is and you know why isn't maybe agronomists can tell from the roadside but for new agronomists and anyone who wants to double check you need to get out there you need to go to a couple of spots in the field and count the number of open flowers on the main stem so you would take a plant see if i can pull this one up you're gonna peel away any of the side stems and then you're gonna count either an open flower or anything that used to be a flower. So these pods down here, you'd count them as well. Um, so we'll count on this plant. I counted earlier, but I'm pretty sure we're at about 20. So 20 open flowers would be about 30% flowering. So we say 10 open flowers, about 10%, 15, 20%, 20, 30%, or thereabouts. There's a range, obviously. Um, so you want to do that to a number of plants in the field in different spots to get an average. Um, when we look at this field overall, chances are you're not at 30% on most of the plants, so you're probably still a day or two away um, from that ideal timing. And again, when it's hot and dry, things can progress pretty quickly. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're going out every day to assess your, your timing to make sure you're getting it at the right stage. And you also want to, when you're walking through, you can be assessing the humidity and how much free moisture is out there because that too will contribute to your risk for sclerotinia. So it's very much dependent on the microclimate, what's the soil moisture like, um, is it wet enough for those spores to be produced and infect the petals. Based on how wet my feet are, I would say yes. <laughs> okay, there you go. Now you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Which it is very nice because it is 30 degrees out yeah. and nice and cool on my feet. So, now why let's talk about why we're aiming to protect this plant at 20 to 30 percent bloom why right. at 50 percent are we wasting our money so as you can see if we're at like 20 percent bloom now the canopy has really started to fill in um, and so a 20 percent bloom or 30 percent bloom you're probably still at a point where when these petals fall they're going to be landing on lower portions of the stems but as that canopy begins to fill in even more so once you get to 50 percent bloom and later Yes, there are still petals there. Yes, they can still be infected. But when they fall, they're really going to be landing on the upper leaf axles. And when you have infection this high in the stem, it's unlikely to cause a big yield effect. It's when you have infection really low that your whole main stem is being wiped out that you're going to see a big yield difference. So although you may still see infection past that 50% bloom timing, uh, that isn't going to have an effect on the yield like it is at that earlier timing. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Holly. No problem.